hello friends so what we are going to do today we are going to do the questions related to labor cost variances last time we studied various steps related to labor cost variances l1 is actual payment l2 is if payment were made at standard rate what is the amount you are going to pay l3 is standard cost of actual hours worked l4 is standard cost of actual hours worked if they were in standard proportion and L5 is standard labor cost for actual production. So we do that in many questions to follow along with the bigger table that we understood in last class. D1 is what we are going to start with. This is question B1. Now your given skilled labor is used to produce a toy single type of labor labor there is no mix hence there will be no l4 l4 not applicable will be equal to l3 it will require three hours of skilled labor at the rate of 10 per hour during the month 500 pieces of toy were produced using 1600 hours of skilled labor by paying 15,000. so they are paid actually rupees 15,000 given now rate per hour was 10 per hour and 1600 hours were there 1600 hours multiplied by rupees 10 per hour so rupees 16000 is computed as l2 now hours worked and hours paid are not different in this question there is no idle time concept given there or applicable indirectly so idle time not applicable l3 not applicable equal to l2 l3 equal l2 equal 16000 this particular question l4 equal l3 equal 16000 because single category labor is there mix is not applicable mix variance will not come whenever a step is not applicable in model steps approach we have learned earlier step value will be taken 16000 here now standard cost per unit of output how many hours 3 hours into 10 per hour standard cost per unit is rupees 30 per toy multiplied by actual production 500 pieces 500 toys this is rupees 15,000 so what I get there 15,000 minus actual skilled labor was also 15,000 that is nil L2 minus L1 L2 we calculated 16,000 minus 15,000 1000 favorable l5 15000 minus l2 16000 1000 adverse this is nil this is nil because they were not applicable this is 15000 minus 16000 1000 adverse this is a complete table of variance. This is the easiest possible starting conceptual question. Does not have application of all steps, but still it is easy starting question. This was L, sorry, D1. Next one, D2. A detail is given for one gang which normally consists of 30 men, 15 women, 10 boys. This is budgeted number of workers normally who are working. Their standard rate is given in normal week of 40 hours the gang is expected to produce 2000 units of output this is busted output for a normal week during the week ended this actually there were 40 men 10 women 5 boys actual wage rate is given for them 4 hours were wasted due to power breakdown so actual hours worked are 36 per worker whereas actual time paid for is 40 per worker so i am on to payment this is men 
women boys i first want to get rs now there are 40 men 40 hours to be paid 1600 hours there are 10 women 40 hours to be paid 400 hours there are 5 boys 40 hours to be paid for each boy 200 hours multiply with their actual rate actual rate is 70 paisa 65 paisa 30 paisa so 1600 into 0.7 1120 400 into 0.65 260 200 into 0 0.30 60 rupees total is 1440 1440 now change the rate for men women boys R's are same 1600, 400, 200. Change the rate to standard. Standard rate is 80 pesa, 60 pesa, 40 pesa. 960, 240, 80. I hope it is correct. 1600 into 0.80 now this is 1280 this is not correct 1280 240 80 i hope it is 1600 this is 1600 l3 change r's How many hours instead of 40, 36? Because they did not work 40 hours. 40 hours were paid for being a normal week. If they had worked 42 hours, they will be paid for 42 hours. But even if they worked less, they will be paid for 40 hours. 36 hours because power breakdown is not avoidable at the level of workmen. It is duty of the entity to provide power. If there is a breakdown due to power, maintenance, then you will have to pay the worker. So, workers are working less. 40, 10 and 5 are workers. Multiplied by 36 is hours worked. 4 hours are deducted there. So, what I get? 40 into 36. 1440. 360. 180. Multiplied by standard hours. Standard rate per hour. 40 1440 into 0.80 1152 it is by chance equal to M uh, L1. There is no link with L1 otherwise. Now, sub steps. Total actual hours worked. 1440 plus 360 plus 180. 1440 plus 360 plus 180. 1980 hours. First sub step done. Put in budgeted ratio. Budgeted hours ratio. 30 ratio, 15 ratio, 10. 
some students say sir this is ratio of busted number of worker even if you multiply every figure with 40 ratio will remain same so number of ratio number of worker ratio more plus represent the number of busted hours ratio so this is 6 ratio 3 ratio 2 1980 divided by 11 into 6 1080 hours men women 540 boys 360 standard mix hours multiplied by same standard rate per hour 80 paisa 60 paisa 40 paisa This is 144, 540 into 0.6, 324, 1080 into 0 0.8, 864, 1332. This is total L4. It is not difficult, very simple. Last step. Can show you again if you have missed standard mix r multiplied by standard rate per r multiplied and added 1332 is a figure there lastly standard cost per unit of output what i should get standard cost of one mix divide by output expected from that mix multiplied by actual output in units now for one mix i am computing a standard cost 30 into 40 into 0.80 for men 30 men 40 hours per person per men multiplied by 80 paisa women 15 into 40 into point 60 boys 10 into 40 into 0 point 40 so this is 1200 into point 80 960 600 into point 60 360 400 into point 40 160 if you add them all 960 160 and 360 this is 1480 how much output you are expecting from there you are expecting output of 2000 units third line of the question 1480 divided by 2000 units multiplied by actual output is 1600 units 1480 divided by 2000 into 1600 1184 it is not difficult you have to apply the step carefully in this question all the five steps are distinctively applicable. You should be knowing the intricacies of every step in this question. So, I put in the table 1184 minus, I think we had 1440 in L1. Yes, 1440. Two fifty six adverse. Then L2 minus L1. L2 was 1600 minus 1440. 160 favorable. L5 minus L2. 1184 minus 1600. 416 adverse. Then idle time variance. Idle time variance L3 minus L2. 
now l3 is 1440 minus l2 1600 160 at worse l4 minus l3 l4 was 1332 minus 1440 108 at worse l5 minus l4 one one eight four minus one three three two one one eight four minus one three three two one forty eight adverse this is complete question d2 the next question we take up is d3 it is quite similar to d2 nothing difficult quite similar all the six, five steps are easily applicable there the question tells you actual wages directly it is given in second last line rupees 450 given once actual wages which are paid are directly given you don't need actual rate you are not given actual rate you are given standard rate for the purpose of other steps Looking at L2 there, I need to get actual hours. The workers are named here skilled, semi skilled, unskilled. Now, skilled workers are 13, 4 semi skilled, and 3 unskilled. Normal working week is of 40 hours into 40 520 160 120 now that apply standard rate 75 pesa 50 pesa 40 pesa This is 80, this is 48, Three ninety plus 80 plus 48, 518 is L2. Nothing difficult, very simple. You have to just work out on actual hours paid for multiplied by standard rate per hour. Now, this question does not tell me any idle time but total hours paid for let me check from there 520 plus 160 plus 120 800 they have worked only 720 written in the question and it is clearly written in last line assume that each worker worked the same hours 720 hours total divide by 20 workers this is 20 workers so 36 hours per worker it means implied or hidden in the question there are four idle time hours in earlier question it was directly given power breakdown whatever 4 hours idle time here it is implied they were paid for 800 they worked for 720 only so 80 hours for 20 workers was idle time for every worker equal 4 hours is idle time so now I do the computation as in earlier question skilled semi skilled unskilled 13, 4, 3 multiplied by 36 each is equal to 468, 144, 1,0,8. Multiplied with standard rate 75 paisa, 
फिफ्टी पैसा फोर्टी पैसा वन जीरो एट इन टू पॉइंट फोर्टी फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट टू वन फोर्टी फोर इन टू पॉइंट फिफ्टी सेवेंटी टू फोर सिक्सटी एट इन टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव थ्री फिफ्टी वन प्लस सेवेंटी टू प्लस फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट टू दिस इज फोर सिक्स सिक्स पॉइंट टू दिस इज एल थ्री नाउ एल फोर इज अ मिक्स रिलेटेड स्टेप टोटल एक्चुअल आर्स वर्कड गिवन सेवन ट्वेंटी यू कैन कंफर्म फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो द टोटल इज सेवन ट्वेंटी टोटल इज सेवन ट्वेंटी पुट इन बजटेड आर्स रेशो टेन रेशो फाइव रेशो फाइव skilled semi skilled unskilled 360 180 180 this is standard mix hours multiplied by standard rate per hour 75 paisa 50 paisa 40 paisa 360 into point seven five, two seventy ninety, seventy two. This is four thirty two. Nothing difficult. Very simple. Last step. Standard labor cost for actual production. Standard cost for one mix. Divide by thousand units expected from that mix, multiplied by thousand units actual output. So standard cost for one unit will be computed with the help of one mix divided by output from there, multiplied by actual output, which is also one thousand units. So let us compute that. Ten into forty into point seven five. This is for skilled, semi-skilled. Five into forty into point fifty. Unskilled. Five into forty into rate per hour forty paisa. Three hundred. Hundred eighty, four hundred eighty, four hundred eighty divided by one thousand into one thousand. This is equal to rupees four hundred eighty. Now we reach the steps in variances. Four hundred eighty minus four hundred fifty. Thirty favorable. L two minus L one, five one eight minus four hundred fifty. This is sixty eight favorable. L five four hundred eighty minus L two, five one eight. Thirty eight adverse. Idle time. L three minus L two, four six six point two minus five one eight. Fifty one point eight adverse. Must try the favorable or adverse correctly, otherwise you lose marks. Four thirty two minus four six six point two. Thirty-four point two adverse. L five minus L four. Four eighty. 
माइनस फोर थर्टी टू फोर्टी एट फेवरेबल दिस इज द टेबल ऑफ वेरियंसिस दैट विल गिव यू फुल मार्क्स इन द एग्जाम दिस वॉज डी थ्री द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डी फोर इट विल सिंपली रिमाइंड यू of a concept we did in fixed overhead variances that was tendered r concept i told you there itself you should never confuse standard r with budgeted r or any actual r never confuse it with actual r's worked or actual r's paid for it is not equal to any of them standard r worked is given to you for use in last step of any category that is l5 in this case was fo5 in the other question in fixed overhead variances that we did now simply remember if you confuse it with actual hours worked you are going to get something wrong in the question the actual hours you will be able to compute and there is no mention of actual hours worked separately or even idle time so idle time concept not applicable means l3 equal l4 students tend to be confused they compare actual time paid for with the standard r to find idle time that is wrong that is wrong if you do that you will get the zero marks in that part for sure so make it sure standard r is given the output in units will not be given last step will be standard rate per hour multiplied by standard hours worked that is the only key thing new point in d4 let's do it in detail you are given actual hourly rate and 40 hour working week and actual number of workers so i can compute the actual time paid for and the actual cost this is 28 into 40 this is for skilled labor semi skilled unskilled 18 into 40 4 into 40 28 into 40 11 20 hours multiplied by actual rate 4 rupees 4480 is the actual cost 18 into 40 720 hours 3 per hour is the rate 2160 4 into 40 160 hours multiplied by 2 rupees per hour is the rate 320 so you get 6960 in second step what happens we only change the rate 1120 hours for skilled for semi skilled 720 hours for unskilled 160 hours multiplied by standard rate 3 2 and 1 1120 into 33 one four four zero one sixty once you add four nine six zero now very important total hours paid for I can compute from here two thousand hours. The moment you compare it with eighteen hundred standard hours and say two hundred hours is idle time, you are doing a blunder. It's totally incorrect. This hours paid for should be compared with actual hours worked, not standard hours. Actual hours worked are not known. Should be deemed to be equal. 
when L3 is not applicable, it is equal to L2, means no idle time. And if this is incorrect, even L4 will go incorrect. Because you will start sharing 1800 hours into the busted ratio and a mixed step will be wrong. We have to do it on 2000 hours. So L3 equal L2 equal rupees 4960. As there is no idle time. L4. Total actual hours worked. 2000 hours. Budgeted hours ratio. 32 ratio, 12 ratio, 6, which is number of worker ratio multiplied by 40 will remain same ratio. So I get for skilled, semi-skilled, unskilled, standard mix hours, 2000 into 2000 divided by 50 into 32 1280 480 240 multiplied by standard rate per hour 1280 into 3 3840 480 into 2, 960 and 240. 5040 is L4. 5040 is this step. Reaching last step. Here, this formula shall not be applicable. Because actual output in units is not known, instead standard hours worked are known. Standard cost per hour multiplied by standard hours produced. Be sure it is not busted hours, it is standard hours produced. The difference I have told you many times in fixed overhead variances also, in flexible budget also, many places I have told you the same difference. I am not repeating here. So, looking at standard cost per hour, take one standard mix, 32 into 40 into 3, this is for skilled, for semi-skilled, 12 into 40 into 2, for unskilled, 6 into 40 into 1. Here I will get total hours, here I will get total cost. From there I will get standard cost per You do not have to put for every individual standard cost per hour. You have to compute one average standard cost per hour. 32 into 40, this was 1280 multiplied by 3, 3840. We have computed that earlier also, but let us repeat it. 12 into 40. 480 into 2, 960. 240 into 1, 240. So, if you add the standard hours, 2480 hours, is this correct? No. 1280 plus 480 plus 240. This is 2000 hours. What I am getting is 2000 hours total. Cost 3840, 960, 240, 5040. 5040 divided by 2000 is standard rate per hour. 2.52 per hour multiplied by 1800 standard hours. 
that is l5 l5 is most important in this question 4536 4536 now i reach variances 4536 minus l1 6960 Two four two four adverse L two minus L one two thousand adverse four five three six minus four nine six zero. Four twenty four adverse idle time variance l3 minus l2 l3 we computed same there was no idle time variance 4960 minus 4960 nil l4 we computed 5040 Minus four nine six zero eighty favorable L five minus L four L five was four five three six minus five zero four zero four five three six minus five zero four zero five zero four adverse this is complete question d4 so the next question is question d5 probably last question for the day in this question wages payable are directly given 2750 is wages payable actual payment paid or payable is same for us accrual concept is to be applied then i have to check out the payment involved if they were paid at standard rate now how many working hours are there 42 normal week is of 40 hours what hours you will pay for you have to pay for 42 hours you can't pay for 40 hours here if worked is less yes you can pay more if worked is more you will have to pay more you cannot pay 40 there is no idle time concept in this question. 42 hours worked, 42 hours paid. Why 40 hours are given? They are given for L5. When you compute standard cost of one unit or for one mix, budget is 40 hours. There you will use 40 hours. So let us concentrate on L2 here. In this case, they are men, women, boys again. Men, women and boys 13 4 and 3 everybody to be paid for 42 hours can't pay for 40 hours once they have worked 42 hours we are not dealing with the labor exploitation in this 546 and standard rate we are having is 4, 3 and 2. 4. 4 into 42. 168. At the rate of 3 per hour. 504. 3 into 42. 126. 2 per hour. 252 aggregate i'm getting is 2940 no idle time cannot be negative idle time don't say worked are 40 now worked worth 42 paid were 42 hence l3 equal to l2 l2 
2940. Now, I need these total hours for the mixed purpose 546, 168, 126, 840 hours. Total actual hours worked. 840 budgeted hours ratio 10 ratio 5 ratio 5 that is 2 ratio 1 ratio 1 men women boys standard mix hours 420, 210, 210, multiplied by standard rate per hour, standard rate per hour was 4, 3 and 2, Four, three, and 2, 1680, 630, 420 2730 2730 standard cost for actual production now what should i do i should calculate standard cost for one mix divided by output expected from there multiplied by actual output produced this is 10 into 40 here 40 comes into picture 5 into 40 into 3 5 into 40 into 2 this is men women boys this is 1600 600 400 2600 now 2600 divide by output expected 1000 units actual is 960 units 2600 divide by 1000 into 960 2496 is perfect figure nothing difficult 40 not getting used anywhere except here because they planned 40 hours per week although actually they worked also 42 they will have to pay also 42 but they are having budget at 40 hours budgeted cost divided by busted units multiplied by actual units let's put in table last thing in this 2496 minus 2750 254 adverse l2 minus l1 l2 we had 2940 minus 2750 190 favorable 2496 minus 2940 2496 minus 2940 triple 4 adverse then idle time nothing L4 minus L3 210 adverse L5 2496 minus 2730 2496 minus 2730 234 
adverse this is the ultimate complete question d5